Many people say they're waiting on the Lord. They say they don't know what God's purpose or plan is for them. They say that uh, they don't want to do anything because it may not be what God's will is for them. Uh, they're just idly sitting around, uh, not being fruitful. Just say that they're waiting on the Lord, uh, but they're just not doing anything. Uh, they're being idle. Uh, they're they're fearful because they don't want to make a mistake. They're fearful because they don't want to do something that God didn't call them to do. But my friends, Jesus called each and every one of us to love him with everything that is within us. Love him with all of our heart, all of our soul, and all of our strength. He called each one of us to love our neighbors as ourselves. He called each one of us to help the needy and help the poor. He called each, each one of us to help the widows, to help the orphans. He called us to obey him. He called us to repent of sin and self. He, he called each and every one of us to deny ourselves and to take up our cross and follow him. He called each one of us to obey his commands, the words that he spoke. In Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, the words that we will be judged by. So my friends, if you are obeying the words of Jesus, if you have repented of sin, if you have been born again and filled with the Holy Spirit, you don't need to be waiting around for some sign from heaven. You don't need to be waiting around for confirmation from another person as of what to do. You need to get busy serving Jesus, to get busy following after him in holiness and righteousness and obedience to his words. My friends, Jesus has called you to take action in building the kingdom of God. He has called you to take action in pointing people to him and putting other people's hand in Jesus' hands. He did not call you to sit at home and sit on your hands. He did not call you to, 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 to be lazy. He did not call you to be slothful. He did not call you to be slack in serving him. He called you to bear fruit because every tree that does not bear fruit will be cut down from the root and thrown into the fire. My friends, what are you busy with? Are you busy leading people to Jesus? Are you busy obeying the words of Jesus and being a blessing to other people? Or are you waiting around, waiting for someone else to bless you? Or are you waiting around for a sign from heaven? Are you waiting around to hear from somebody to confirm what it is you're supposed to do? Are you waiting for a prophecy to hear so that that will motivate you to move forward? My friends, Jesus should motivate you enough to where you'll serve him and obey him and live by his commands. My friends, it's time to get motivated. It's time to get moving. There's no time to sit around. My friends, it's time to take action and serve the Lord Jesus Christ. He is worthy. And I pray that you will that you will get motivated. I pray that you will get up and start serving him. I pray that you will start obeying him and living by his commands. My friend, your purpose is to make disciples of all nations. Your, your purpose is to lead other people to Jesus. Your purpose is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your might, and all your soul, and to love your neighbor as yourself. So my friends, are you loving other people? Are you loving God? Are you serving him? Are you giving him 100%? Or are you just giving him lip service? My friend, it's time to get busy and make disciples. It's time to get busy in serving our king. Because my friends, he's coming back for those who serve him. He's coming back for those who obey him. And he's coming back for those who please him. So my friends, it's time to get busy with Jesus. Because if not, when he comes back, and you stand before him, empty-handed, he'll say, go away, I never knew you. It's time to get busy working for Jesus and leading people to him. May Jesus bless you. Today I want to talk about the Christian heretic. Heresy. What is heresy? We live in an age that is full of heresy. There are Christian heretics everywhere. There are Christian heretical preachers on so many pulpits that it's hard to even count. There are Christian heretics all over YouTube, all over the internet. You can always tell a heretic by their fruit. Their fruits are evil, ungodliness, evil talk, worldliness, sin, condoning of sin. That's how you know who is a heretic. These days the heretics are rather smart, so they're not going to outrightly deny Jesus Christ. That is the heretical spirit that is behind these people. Rather, these lying spirits will make people believe that they can be saved just because they profess the name of Jesus, even though Jesus said so very clearly, Not everybody who calls me Lord, Lord will enter into my kingdom, but he who obeys me. 
It's he who obeys me who loves me. That's what Jesus said. Now, Jesus said that uh, there was two sons. And one son was asked, could you go and work in the vineyard? And he said, oh yes, I'll go. And he just didn't go. The other son said no, but he later felt bad about it. And he went and did the work. And Jesus said to the Pharisees, which of those two sons do you think was pleasing to them, to the father? And uh, they said, well, obviously the second son who said no, but he ended up going out and doing the work. And that is the like mind of somebody who believes Jesus Christ. They used to say no, no to the father until they came to Jesus. They changed their mind and then they went and started working in his vineyard. Uh, they left their sins, they left their evil. Now, Christian heretics will always forget that we cannot follow Jesus and mix in the world at the same time. You see, the heretic uh, dresses as the world dresses. Uh, they have the look and the lust and the desire and the fun and the acceptance of the world. That is why the world accepts them. Uh, a heretic preacher is somebody who, who goes around and lives in sin. They preach a sin-accepting gospel. Uh, they themselves do not live on the narrow way as servants and followers and disciples of Jesus Christ. These heretic preachers will lead you to believe the lie that you can just live your own way and believe in Jesus and it's all grace, you will be saved. When in the matter of fact it's written in 1 John chapter 3 that anybody who continues to sin doesn't know the Lord. John wrote that nobody who knows the Lord will continue to sin that he who does continue to sin doesn't know him. And this is exactly right. Because Jesus is not the way of the heretic. The way of the heretic is that Jesus is somehow in the background. He's the way up there in heaven. And uh, all you do is believe and then you just go on about your own life. Uh, it's all very nice and comfortable when they feel Jesus isn't right down here. He's all the way up there where you just have to believe, they think. But we who know Jesus know that this is a lie. Because Jesus comes to be within us who follow him. He actually speaks and leads and helps us. And he's a reality in our life. Uh, the heretical preacher doesn't want to know that. Because they don't want to be accountable for the Lord, to the Lord. It's all nice and comfortable to keep him up there. And let's all just live our life down here and go by what the Bible says or what we think it says. That's the way of the heretic. They do not have a reality of Jesus in their life. They are not led by his spirit. And they are preaching from their own opinions and wisdom of man. There is only one gospel. And there is only one gospel that saves. And that is the gospel of Jesus. Not the gospel of the heretic. The one who speaks. The one who leads. The one who died on the cross for us. The one who rose again. The one who sent his Holy Spirit. To dwell in you. Who accept him. This is the one, Jesus Christ, that we obey and follow all the days of our life. And it's by his power of his name that we get set free from sin to live a new way. So we get baptized in his name. and We go follow him from then on, living in prayer and being serious about his name daily. That's not what the heretical preacher will preach. He'll just preach some message about, oh, it's all grace, don't worry, you know. It's all fun, you know, it's all good, you know, just live your own way, you know, just give us some money, uh, you know, just keep away from big sins, but it's all right about all the little sins, God understands. No, he does not. I will say it again, don't listen to the heretical preacher, because they will bring you into the fires of hell with them. You have no excuse. We have the gospel right here and now. I'm telling you the true gospel. You go follow Jesus of heaven who is here right now among us. You obey him. You leave your sin. You be serious about him. He's going to lead you. Come away from the heretical preacher. May the Lord bless you.